Good afternoon, Keith. And that's exactly right. Anthony Guadalupe has been released on bond and he was released last Thursday. But that same day that he was released, the state attorney's office filed a motion to revoke his bond. Now, this all comes just as you said, after the announcement of potentially more victims. 18 year old Anthony Guadalupe worked at the school here in St. Johns County as a former assistant teacher. He was arrested and charged last week for lewd and lascivious acts on a child. According to the police report, Guadalupe was caught on surveillance video in a four year old classroom where he worked, touching a young girl under her dress. In a letter sent this morning to parents from the CEO of the charter school, they say that more alleged incidents have been discovered during this investigation. Now, all the parents of the children involved have been contacted and a licensed mental professional will be available at the school to conduct any counseling sessions and that will be happening throughout the week. Now, Guadalupe has not been formally arraigned at this point. Like I said, he is out on bond and expected to come here today. He did, however, submit a not guilty plea. Also want to let you know that according to court records, a principal in another St. John's County High School was scheduled to appear as a character witness. However, according to the St. John's County School District, officials have told us that that scheduled appearance of that other principal will no longer take place. I'll have more from the bond hearing, so stay with us here on First Coast News. Reporting in St. John's County, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side. Thank you, Atia. And that bond hearing is set to take place at 1.30 this afternoon. First